video creation. And so if you're creating videos or you're creating content, CapCut honestly is probably one of the easiest ones to use. CapCut was just an app on your phone, which I disregarded it as a serious video editor for a long time. And then my team said, oh no, 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 actually they've built an app for your desktop now. It's AI powered, it's got a bunch of really cool features. I tried it out and honestly, I was pretty impressed. Didn't quite have all the bells and whistles for my professional team to be creating YouTube videos with, but if you want a basic video editor because you want to put stuff out there, I mean, my team are doing posting a video a day to YouTube and they're pretty hefty, so they like their more fully featured Adobe stuff but CapCut will get you 99% of the way for any of the video stuff that you need to do if you're a casual creator. I added a couple of other recommendations here for specific use. Descript is a phenomenal AI-driven video editor if you're doing longer form content, particularly if you're doing presentations like this and you want help cleaning them up. Descript is really, really quite impressive. And Descript is something that you've really got to see to believe, let me show you my Descript here, because what Descript will help you do is edit videos with just an AI prompt. And as an example, I'll open up a previous video that I did here. I'll record a video and I'll upload it into Descript. And if I want, I can actually have that video automatically changed, summarized, edited just with a prompt. So on the right hand side here, you'll see there's AI tools and it gives me you know, a bunch of suggestions of things I might wanna to do to this video automatically. I can remove filler words and it will go through and it will, oh look, it's found 477 times that I've said ah uh, or um or something like that. And I can click one button and boom, it'll go through and remove all of those automatically. This is an absolute game changer when it comes to editing. I can even say, go and remove silences. But the cool thing about Descript is it gives you a transcription of your video. And if you decide, you know what? I don't really like that Pete said that. I can just go ahead and strike that out. And then that's the edit. That's all you have to do. You don't have to drag little sliders and bars across to start and stop at this many seconds or that many seconds. It just lets you edit with a text editor and then it does the video editing for you. Mind blowing, complete change of the game in video editing. So that one's very, very impressive. If I decide, hey, you know what? I like this, but you know, I really wanna put it after I say that, then you can change the order of stuff. So all of that happens and it works in the browser as well, which is another amazing thing, which means that you don't have to worry about your uh, local computer having to be super powerful to do that kind of thing. So that's Descript, uber, uber impressive. Very, 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 very cool. And because it's online, it's collaborative, you can upload the video, make some tweaks, send it to your team. They'll do the video editing immediately. We have to, using different apps, put stuff in Google Drive, wait for it to upload, you know, version one, version two, version three, blah, blah, blah. All of that is just built into Descript. It's like Google Docs for video editing. Complete change to the game, very cool. And Google VO3, we use specifically for video generation. VO3 is where you're seeing all of those videos on social media right now that are so realistic, you literally cannot tell the difference if it's AI generated or a real video. These are coming from VO3, got released just a couple of months ago, super, super hype. And Google have now built this into Gemini and released it for everyone, which is very exciting news. So VO3 we use for that. So just a reminder, if you're doing like short form stuff, you wanna do like uh, shorts to put on Instagram or to put on LinkedIn, CapCut is gonna be good. If you're doing longer stuff, Descript is gonna help you with that. And then VO3 is for actually generating video. On the right hand side, Firefly is like the professional video, the professional version of VO and some of these others. Synthesia and Eleven Labs allow you to go deeper into generation. Eleven Labs is really great for generating a AI copy of your voice. And what my team will do is if I do a really long video and they wanna chop it up into shorter videos, at the end of part one, they'll use Eleven Labs to take my voice and say, hey, thanks for watching part one. Part two is coming right up on the channel and they'll just generate that with 11 labs. So if you watch the channel, watch out for that at the end of some of our videos, that's using 11 labs for the voice generation. And Synthesia is one that lets you generate basically AI clones with video. Let me show you this. And so if you want to make a video for your website 
or for a presentation and you don't wanna to have to record it yourself, well, you can choose an AI avatar, give them a script, and of course, you can generate the script inside the app or maybe use Claude or something else to generate the script. And Synthesia is the app that you would use to turn that into a person talking just from your text or just from your prompt. As always, if you're using these prompts to create text or create scripts, it's really important that you feed it the right kind of information. So make sure you have a brand guide for your copywriting. Make sure you have a way of communicating the tone of your brand. And you can create all of that with a prompt as well. That's pretty easy. Don't worry about having to spend three hours on creating a document. You can do that with a prompt. You just go to GPT or you go to Gemini and you say, hey, help me create a brand voice document that I can feed into AI tools. Or you can do what I did and I took all of my customers form fills from my website. So all of our leads, all of the customer inquiries for the last five years, there's like thousands. And I put all of those into Gemini and I said, hey, make me a brand document with copywriting guidelines based on the words that my customers actually use when they put in a form on our website to request a call with our team. And it gave me a copywriting guide using all of our customers actual words, which is about as good as you can get. If you liked this video, we've got plenty more on the channel covering this topic and much, much more.